Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to learn so much you will not believe it. We're going to combine five different photos with different expressions uh, on a face to create kind of like a portrait collage. And as we get to the end of this video, I'm going to offer two different versions of this design. And I need for you to tell me in the comments which one you prefer best. And like always, uh, if you learn anything in this tutorial, which I know you are going to, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. All right, let's get started. So we are going to go over to uh, Elements. And because I've recently used some photos, I'm going to just select my recently used. And I'm going to come down to uh, this photo right here. Now, as you can see, I've got a whole collection of this girl with different poses. And if you're wanting to do the same thing in Canva, or maybe you have your own photos, if you want to search in Canva for a collection, all you have to do is click on the three dots, go down to info. And in there, if there is a collection, you'll be able to view the collection of photos. And what it does is it just brings up a whole bunch of different photos from the same collection. Sometimes it's the same model, sometimes it's not. In this case, it is the same model, which makes it really, really easy for us to use uh, this girl and her different poses. Now, uh, so I'm going to uh, take this photo right here. I'm going to crop it slightly. And I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and uh, I'm going to put it here. Now, the one thing to note is that uh, I can't resize this and I really do want the head, the top of the head here. Uh, and if you have not explored this feature yet, we can actually add to this photo. If we go to edit and if we come under Magic Studio, we're going to find uh, a section called Magic Expand. So when I click that, I'm offered the option to expand this uh, photo. Either I can do freeform, whole page, or um, one by one ratio. And what I want to do is I just want to actually heighten this photo so I can get all of her head in my uh, collage. So I'm going to now click that purple button and Canva and AI are going to go to work and they're going to expand this photo for me. I love this feature. If you uh, subscribe to Canva, this is one feature that um, I just cannot live without. And of course, we're given a couple of different options. Uh, I'm okay with this first option. I It doesn't matter that it's got this little bit of text up here. I'm just gonna say done uh, and Bob's my uncle. So I'm just gonna leave this right here. I'm gonna make this um, a little bit smaller for now. So I'm just gonna crop it down to size a little bit and put that right there. Let's go back to elements. And I'll grab that collection again. So here it is right here. I'll just get rid of that now. All right. So I'm gonna add a couple more photos to my workspace. I'll add this one. And I'll add this one right here. All right, I'm going to grab all of these and I'm just going to kind of center them a little bit more like that. Now, I'm not going to use frames for this, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to uh, make them a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to leave a little and I'm just going to butt them up one against uh, another. And I'm going to stagger these photos.
Now, one thing you'll want to do is just make sure that they are all the same size. If we're um, resizing, we can see what the width is. It's right there, it's 227. So I'm just going to come here and just make sure that this one is also 227. All right, so now they're all the same size. And I'm just going to, again, move them closer together. So click and you can press the cursor or the left button to or right button to move them over like this. All right, so I'm just going to kind of try and center that a little bit more like that. And now let's go and let's remove the background. So I'm going to grab the first one, remove the background. The second one, third, fourth, and the fifth. Let's make the background black now. So I've got the background selected and we're going to make that black. All right, so now we're going to grab a line. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to grab a line that's narrow on the end. And if I go to graphics, we'll see a whole bunch of different lines. I think I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to rotate it. And if you have problems rotating it, you can always come here and just put 90 under a range. So I clicked position and a range and down here we can just enter in the rotation of the element and that will um, get that for you if you're having a hard time. Now I'm going to take that line and I'm just going to put it in in between the two photos and I'm going to make that line white like that. I'm going to take a copy and I'm going to move this one here. I'm now going to, you can, we can see that there's a little bit of a harsh uh, line at the bottom. So I'm going to come back to elements and I'm going to search for a uh, black uh, gradient. And so here is one right here. And I'm just going to put that right down there like that. Um, increase the width a little bit and I'll just move it up just a little bit like that. Now because there's a little bit of a harsh shadow on this one here, why don't we move it with this one here? So I'm going to go to position, I'm going to go to layers, and I'm going to grab that one and I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to flip it the other way so that her face is on the outside. I'll butt it up against that line and I'll just extend this over a little bit that way the line isn't so harsh on the end and that will eliminate that harsh line that this one was created so I'm creating so I'm just going to put that right in there and leave those two like that So um, now let's go back to elements and let's search for some circle shadows. And I actually want a black one. So let's see if we can find a black circle shadow. So let's see if that one is good. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to grab that and I'm actually going to start to um, just duplicate that and rotate just to kind of hide that harsh line a little bit. We can try some other ones too if we want. Now there's one thing left to do is these white narrow lines are now behind the shadows we're going to go to position and layers and we're going to grab those white lines. Here they are right here. And I'm going to move them to the top. So they're on top of the shadow. So there they are right there. 
And that is pretty much my final product. Um, but I do have another option, which I do want to share with you. But I want to know which design are you going to like better? So this is option one. I'm going to take a duplicate of that. So here is the duplicate. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to search for a circle background. And we're going to go to graphics uh, or maybe photos. And I'm going to select this one right here. I'm going to put this right here. And I'll make it a little bit smaller. I'll make a duplicate and I'll put it, I'll try and match it up as best I can. And I'll make another duplicate. Um, let's just move that over a tiny bit so that it looks seamless. There, that's pretty seamless right there. Okay, so let's go to position. I'm going to grab those three. I'm going to group them together and I'm going to move them in behind the photos of the girls' faces. So here they are right now. And I just need to adjust this shadow. There we go. I'm actually going to take a copy of the shadow or you tell me how you're going to like the second design. You like it with that straight line. Do you prefer it with another shadow on top? So here's the other shadow. I'm going to flip that. And we're going to put that up top there. And I'm going to move that in behind the lines. We can actually even just make it a little transparent too. Maybe we can even put it behind the girls like that. So that is a second option. Um, and what about the lines? What about the white lines? Should these white lines be black now? I don't know. You tell me. Let's change it to black and let's see how that looks. And there it is. So what do you think? I want to hear what you think in the comments. Which design option do you like best? Do you like this one? Or do you like this one? Let me know. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press the like button, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if you want to learn more about my live classes, Ask me in the comments, uh, especially if you want to learn how to create Canva frames. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.